To better predict volcanic eruptions, you have to dig deeper. Conditions in the magma chamber can indicate the size, frequency and composition of volcanic eruptions. In most cases, we know when a volcano will erupt. Although we cannot predict exactly when an eruption will occur, volcanoes often show signs that they're waking up. Usually these signs come from changes in the volcano itself, as well as from changes in the uppermost layers of the Earth's crust. But new research, spearheaded by a team from Imperial College London and the University of Bristol, shows that we have to look deeper up to 12.5 miles, 20 kilometers, underground for a range of eruption specimens that might help us improve our predictions. We looked at volcanoes around the world and dug deeper than previous studies that focused on shallow underground chambers where magma was stored before eruptions, said Catherine Booth, a researcher in the Department of Earth Science and Engineering at Imperial College London. In a statement, we focus on understanding the magma source reservoirs deep beneath our feet where extreme heat melts solid rock into magma at depths of about 10 to 20 kilometers. After collecting data from this part of the Earth's crust, the team entered the data into a computer model. What they found was that certain conditions within a magma reservoir can indicate the size, composition and frequency of volcanic eruptions. By studying what's happening below, we can better predict what might happen above. The buoyancy of magma may be one indicator of a surprising eruption. Contrary to previous beliefs, our research shows that it is the buoyancy of magma, not the proportion of solid to liquid rock, that drives eruptions, Booth said. Once the magma becomes buoyant enough to float, it rises and creates cracks in the solid rock above it and then flows through those cracks very quickly, causing an eruption. Another factor is the size of the reservoir itself. While it is true that larger reservoirs hold more magma, this does not necessarily mean the eruption will be larger. The larger the reservoir, the more heat it consumes thereby reducing the rate of melting of rock into magma. Plus, the longer the magma stays underground, the smaller the eruption will be. By improving our understanding of the processes behind volcanic activity and providing a model that explains the factors that control eruptions, our research is an important step toward better monitoring and forecasting these powerful geological events, said Matt Jackson, Chair of Geological Fluid Dynamics. In the Department of Earth Science and Engineering at Imperial College London, 